Hello everyone and welcome back to Hylix 2. Well, let's let's hop in the boat. Oh, it's it's not like an actual ship. You just okay, you just go to the area. Fair enough. Now what do we got here? Looks like we have like some prisoners. We have an enemy up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh Oh, okay, he's beelining straight towards me. Uh, I, I wanted to save before I get too far into this, actually. I'm kind of curious about something. Can I, like... Oh! If you slap an enemy, you get, an, uh, you get a preempt. Okay. That's actually really good. I might do that. Um, we have two new enemies here. No, 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 I, I think... Have we fought this thing? I don't remember if we fought that thing. I know this thing is new. I remember this thing has a group hit, too, so let's, uh... Let's take it out first, if possible. That attack drop is going to be super useful as well. And you charge up, uh... I still want to kill this thing first. That's fine. Actually, maybe that's not fine. That's not fine. That's what I was worried about. Only 10. What does Whip do? Vulnerable. So you're weak to that. Ugh. Oh wait, vulnerable is a status ailment. I just noticed that. I'm assuming it like lowers your defense or something. We might lose to you yet. Um, yeah, these were some rough enemies. At least we have a little bit of meat though, so if we do die here, we can... Um, if we do die, uh, we can actually get a little bit more health through the uh, meat system. Nice. Now I can answer a couple important questions. So I don't have to ask if dead characters get um, experience, because, uh... Oh, you don't get experience in this game, and they do come back to life. Okay, that's another thing I like to test, typically. Hmm. This is a juice box. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? Why can't I use it? Can I only use skills in battle? That's a bit different than how it worked in our in the, um, when this was an RPG Maker game. I doubt they would have removed that, but okay, I guess. Yeah, both confirm buttons don't do anything there. Well, I guess they're stuck at one health for now. I think kill those things and get some health back. How much does that give me, actually? Gives you around maybe like a tenth of your health? Okay, let's kill some bugs. They're chasing me. Um... There we go. I knew I missed that one. 
Uh-oh. I don't know where it was, but I thought I was going to die for a second. Do I need to collect every coin? Probably not, but I kind of want to try anyway. There we go. Oh, there's a thing down there. Yes, I can fly over the wall. Did I want to do that, though? I feel like I might have just screwed myself out of something. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, I know where we are now. Okay, I, I shouldn't have done that. Well, back to the boat. Actually, just jumping in the water gets gets me back quicker. But... We're almost at full health again. Cool. It seems like the bugs are plentiful enough that it's you can like reasonably get back to full health as if you avoid enough enemies. Okay, that was a bit of a detour, but is that enemy going to respawn? I don't think enemies respond that often in the original Hylix. Like it was a bit like Y2K where they were like kind of just there, and then when you kill them, like they just they're gone for good, kind of. I want to explore around this open area. When, when I originally came here, there was like a door that was locked on the outside. Maybe like this is the other side and I can unlock that door now. I don't trust myself fighting that enemy at the current moment. What does this do? Okay, cool. That's a chest. That, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> what, what's that? Looks like if I go along the wall, I can get something kind of cool. You see that up there? Ooh! Okay. You see that up there, right? I had to fight some enemies, though. Oh, here's what I was thinking of. Yes! Okay, now I can get back in there. Nice! That thing on the right is a new enemy. Um... Okay. I still want to kill you first because you have a group hit and I don't want to deal with that. Please do 11 damage. Yes! Okay. You were, like, kind of annoying, but, like, not until I got you below, like, a third health. You can put enemies to or characters to sleep. Okay. And getting hit wakes you up. All right. Does he counter with that? Ooh. Sleeping ended. All right. And you can have more than one status at a time. Okay. And now you're angry. Okay, this is the problem with this enemy. Dude, you have one health left. There we go. Thank you. 
What did I pick up? Hmm. Well, it must have been important. Um. So we should kill some of these things just to get some health back. We are not quite at full, though. You know, I kind of like this mechanic. Like, after a battle, you don't, like, get your health back by just spamming a bunch of healing items. Instead, you, like, look for these tiny little bugs, and they kind of encourage you to run around and, like, explore the place. I kind of like that. Does this pole do anything? No. That's water. Okay, we're at full health now. You know, if that restores uh, magic as well... I see a force field here. It kind of encourages me to actually use magic a lot more. I'm assuming I gotta get rid of that force field somehow, because there's a key inside. I'm assuming I want that. Hello? That is the smoothest animation I've ever seen. <laughs> On that one object. It's kind of interesting. You, you typically don't see claymation rendered in 60 frames per second just because it's such a pain in the butt kind of medium to work with. <laughs> it's like, oh, you, you think traditional animation is fun? Imagine having to, like... On top of drawing the thing again, also like physically just reposition something, and if the model breaks, you gotta like start all over for to a certain extent. What is this? What? I I didn't expect a platformer from this. Oh my god. Oh, okay, you can dash here, too. <clears throat> How do I get up there, though? Oh! You can double jump, okay. This really sounds like Frogger music, and I can't get over that. Is that like a checkpoint? If I'm wrong, but didn't Mason Lindroff like make a game kind of in the style, but it wasn't like a Hylix thing? Like it just kind of felt like making a platformer, so he did. Oh, you can defeat that thing. Come on. Yes. I, I really like this song. I, I gotta look up the soundtrack to this game after I do this. Shockwave thing passes through enemies. I apologize if you can really hear the clacking of the keyboard here. 
Yes! Okay. I see a burrito up there. Burritos are healing items, right? How do I get over there? wrong button there, but it worked out anyway, but you respawned, so it doesn't really matter. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> I really like that. Oh, are those little lines in the top right my health? I didn't even pay attention to those. Yeah, they totally are. All right. Come on, just... Why is that one so annoying to deal with? Oh, you create a platform. Uh, there's a checkpoint right there. Let's get that first. I need you in a better position. Uh oh. Ugh. Right there. Those are red, okay. Oh no. Okay. Wait, am I stuck? Oh, I thought I was stuck for a minute. Hey, what is if I just go over here? Is that like a human torso? What? <laughs> Nice. 
That was a beginner's trap. Come on, game. Also, is that whole floor going to kill me? I've learned now that anything red damages me. Kind of like that enemy. Oh, that halts the platform. Okay. Ah. I feel like I gotta line this up. Oh yeah, that's totally what I have to do. Okay. Yes! Uh oh. I have one health left. Ah, oh, come on! That does kill you. Okay, I just wanted to test that. Ah. Oh! Oh, I can kind of break a bit ahead of that, um... Okay. <laughs> Where's that horse thing, though? That's my goal right now. Oh, there it is. Whatever this thing is supposed to be. Oh, oh, that works too. I just don't want to deal with it, basically. So I'm kind of curious, can I, like, make this jump? I can! Okay, so I don't have to do that whole thing. That probably would've just gotten me some goodies or something. I know you're gonna start flying at me. No? Okay. Nice. What hit me? Oh, you respawned. I've seen a double sofa, but I've never seen a triple sofa before. Oh, that bounces me. I, oh, if I time it right, it does bounce me higher. Oh, the timing on that is really tight, though. Oh. Ah. Come on. Okay, let's just stay here. Oh. I am not good at platformers! 
Ah! <laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it, alright? Don't worry. <laughs> I'm bad at these types of games, but I'm not that bad at these types of games. Now you guys know why I don't let's play platformers that often. <laughs> Oh, okay, that sent me soaring, okay. Yes! Oh, that's that thing we started the game in. Oh my god, the whole building is shaped like us. Whoa. for a second. Did that remove the force field, perhaps? I did not know there were enemies here. Um, I can't just get out. Yes, that did remove the force field. Power key, nice. You know, I think we're gonna leave it off here. Uh, I'll see you folks next time. Thanks for watching.